Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. If today is your first time of coming across my video clip, my name is Mrs. Evangelist Elgoma, and I'm based in the city called Verona here in Italy. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God, somebody. Amen. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down in Jesus' name. Let the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down in Jesus' name. Let the power of the Lord come down. Hallelujah. Let the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Amen. Let the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down in Jesus' name. Let the anointing of the Lord come down in Jesus' name. Let the anointing of the Lord Come down, hallelujah. Let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the spirit of the Lord come down. Amen, somebody. Glory be to God, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, before I go on, I want to beseech you to please continue to help me to share, to like, to subscribe if you have not done so. Remember, it's not only we, like other men of God, other evangelists that are giving the word, that are receiving the blessings alone. You that is using your platform to share different word of God. You know, the word of God is here. Amen. It is the word of God you will continue to choose in number one in your scale of preference. Hallelujah, somebody. As you do, you continue to see the blessings of sharing the, the, the video of somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm talking of the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Share it so that God Almighty in heaven will also know that you are a partaker in doing the work of God. You are also doing the work of an evangelist. You are sharing the word of God. You are imparting something in somebody's life. Because as many that you will send it to, if they open it and listen to it, whether from the WhatsApp, from the Facebook, from the YouTube, from the TikTok, wherever they get it from, beloved brothers and sisters, you are the one who passed that message to that person. That blessing will be also shared to you. Hallelujah. Moving on. And remember, here is a platform where we hear the word of God. Remember, the word of God is always here. Amen. As you stick to it, remember, as you stick to this one word of God, you will always come out with a testimony. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Anyway, let us pray a little prayer before we go into the word of God. Heavenly Father, King of glory, eternal rock of ages, the God of Yehman, Amen, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, once again, your word is about to come. I say, breath on your word for as many that are luckily to know right now to listen to this word. Whenever they are going to listen to it, Father, let this word break yokes out of their individual life. Let it transform them from nobody to somebody, from a zero to a hero. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God, so that in the end, all glory and adoration will be given to you, God Almighty. As many said, they have the spirit of devourer. Father, we silence them right now in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory be to God. Amen. I want to deliberate on a subject which I titled, hallelujah, <laughs> guidance, guidance. In other words, when we are talking of guidance, we are talking of the word counsel. When we talk of the word guidance, we are talking of the word advice. Amen. Quickly come with me to the book of Proverbs. We are going to use the word of God in the book of Proverbs. Remember. For you to take advice from the worldly people, it is better you take advice from the Holy Spirit. 
Where will you get the Holy Spirit when you believe in, in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord of your life? Then you have to buy a Bible if you don't have. Then open up a, 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 a YouTube so that you can be listening to great men and women of God. That Sunday, Sunday church alone is not enough. Sometimes, like we, uh, we here in Europe, many of us don't have a, a chance on Sunday. We are doing Sunday work. But there are so many other days that you are free. Then you just click to YouTube. Check any man of God. Before you check 10 to 20, you will see two inside that you will check to listen to. That the language they are speaking, you understand them very well. Hallelujah. As you have intimacy with God through the word of God, because the Bible says the word of God is God himself. As you stick to the word, beloved, you are always coming out with a testimony. You have to try it. Try it and see if I'm lying. Amen. Remember, we are speaking on a subject titled guidance. And I let you know when I meet the word guardian, it also means counsel, also means advice. Where did you take your advice from? Who are you? Who did you allow to be guiding you in every ramifications of your life? Who is guiding you? Who is directing your steps? Because every day we wake up, some of us go to school, some of us go to work, some of us go to our business places. In your marriage, who is guiding you? Who is advising you? On whose advice did you build your marriage on? Amen. Some go to friends. Some go to their family. Some go to other people they don't even know. Provided it's a neighbor. Some people come to God Almighty. Some also go to men of God. Remember, it's not all that say yeah, yeah, that are truly the men of God. Because we have seen it in the Bible also. Hallelujah. Remember here, the Holy Spirit is the one that will guide you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will guide you to all truth. I want to take you to the book of John chapter 16 verse 13. This is the word of God. I will take you to it and as I'm quoting it, I want you to also write it down. You yourself go and study it. John chapter 16 verse 13. I already put it down so that I can open it quickly. Hallelujah somebody. John chapter 16 13 says, but where he is the spirit of truth. Did you see it? That is the Holy Spirit. He's the one that you will, you know, will guide you in every area of your life. I don't know the area you needed advice. I don't know the state of confusion you are now. But you need the power of the Holy Ghost that will help you to discover those things you are looking for. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to start the reading again. The book of John chapter 16 verse 13 says, But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on, of, on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. Something that you have not yet seen. He will prove it to you. He will tell it to you. He will direct your path. Amen somebody. Are you a child of God? The saints say, are you a child of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Are you a child of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. If you are a child of God, it is hallelujah you will continue to sing 247. I know as a child of God, we also see words and rumors of war. Jesus said it. He said, see that ye be not trouble. All these things will come to pass. So you need the power of the Holy Ghost in you. Hallelujah, somebody. Remember, it was the Holy Ghost that was on something that helps him to discover that enemy, that lion, that he breaks the head to pieces in the book of Judges. Hallelujah. Let us move on because of time factor. We are spoken of the Holy Spirit. It is from the Holy Spirit. Now, the, the Holy Spirit means the third in Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. That is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And this is the word of God. God used people to write this through the power of the Holy Ghost. That is the Holy Spirit. Now let us come to the word of God. Remember, in this book of the Bible, I want to take you to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 4. I am saying this to us because every time we are nagging, we are in a state of confusion. I'm not exempted just because we are not yielding fully to the power of the Holy Ghost. So, 
God cannot force you. It is those that seek him. He said, knock, he will open. Seek, you will find. Ask, and it shall be given. Matthew 7, 7. So God cannot force himself into any individual. We are all children of God. But he cannot force himself on you, except you call on him. Amen. Then he says, song that says, call on that name. You can call on that name. Just pick the name of Jesus. And victory you can't see. Uh, stand on, on his promises. Believe him by faith. Nothing is impossible when you call on that name. As you call on him, he will give you that advice. That counsel you are in need of. That guidance. He will guide you to all truth. That is what the Holy Spirit said here in the book of John chapter 16 verse 13. Are you a child of God? Who is directing you? Who is counseling you? There are so many men of God. He said, by their fruit, you shall know them. Even though they said they are men and women of God, hallelujah, they are counseling you. If really you are healed in the, in the power of the Holy Ghost, if you are rooted in the word of God, you will know this man of God is fake. You will know by the way they are doing things. They must do something that the Holy Ghost will, pull, will show you that this person is a wrong person. If at all is pushing on something that is an ambition. Praise the Lord, somebody. Deliberating on the subject called guidance. Who is guiding you? Who is counseling you? Who is advising you? Enough is enough. Let us stand on the lane of God. Let us live that old, our ways of living. Let us be transformed. Let us, let there be a transformation, radiance. Let people see us and be hungry for the things of God. Let us stand on the word for God to advise us, for him to cancel us. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. I'm taking you to the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1. It says, listen my son to a father's instructions. Did you hear that? This is not my word. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1 says, listen my son to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. As you listen to the word of God, as you use the word of God to live your daily lives as an individual, no matter the war and rumors of war, like what is happening in my country now, Nigeria, somebody who won the election, another person fraud it. With patience and prayer and supplication, singing praises to God, meditate to God day and night, use the word of God to, 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 to finish the plans of the enemy. The book of Lamentation 337, he said, who have said something? Let me read it to your hearing so that it will not look um, rhyme. Lamentation 337. Okay. He said, who can speak and have, have it happened if the Lord has not decreed it? Let me read it again. He said, who can speak and have it happened if the Lord has not decreed it? We need prayer. We need prayer. We need to continue to pray. Like the children of God in the book of Acts of Apostles, the Bible said they pray earnestly. Paul and Silas they prayed. Daniel prayed. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know who is counseling you. I don't know who is advising you. I don't know the counsel you are associating yourself with. You are listening to negative words, negative advice that will rule you, that will jeopardize you, that will break you down. Beloved, one word of God is enough for the wise. I don't know who is counseling you, who is advising you. You have to be very, very careful. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Remember Moses in the book of, uh, I think the book of uh, Exodus chapter 18. Remember God called Moses to come and take the people from the Egyptians and Pharaoh and take them to the promised land. In the desert, he was the one doing everything. But luckily for him, for that very faithful day, the father-in-law named Jethro came to meet him. See the way he was so weak and tired because there were so many people he was canceling. He now called his attention. He said, you have 12 tribes of Israel. Why can't you, you know, among them, look for a leader because it's not like you don't know all these people. Let them choose leaders from every each one tribe of Israel. They put them under you. Let them walk under you. From there, the, Moses was having free time 
of his own. If you read from, I think, Exodus chapter 20 from verse 1, you will see how now that Moses was having time, that was why he was able to communicate with God always. And that was the reason God called him to come and write and wrote those uh, uh, tablets, stone tablet, and gave him. I didn't mean he was occupied. There is no time. You know, we need to create time for all these things. Because time never comes. Hallelujah. Go and study the book of Exodus chapter 18. Study all the chapter 18, all the chapter 19, all the chapter 20. All these things are there. It's the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. I want somebody to take something home today. Who is counseling you? Who is advising you, beloved brothers and sisters? Hallelujah, somebody. Who is advising you? Who is your guidance? That is the word of God we are deliberating on now. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to take you also to the book of Proverbs chapter 5. I'm going back to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. No, here is a lamentation. I was reading the book of Proverbs chapter 4, 1. The same thing with Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1. He said, my son, pay attention to my wisdom. When we are talking of the word wisdom, when you get wisdom, you will get an understanding and you will get knowledge. The wisdom of God. That is God himself. The wisdom was what God has. Through the knowledge and an understanding, the Bible said the earth was formless. It was the wisdom that gave him that knowledge. He, he had the word of wisdom. From there, knowledge came and an understanding came. When he speaks, the spirit makes it manifest. Beloved, will you hearken to the word of wisdom? Are you meditating on the word of God? Did you listen to great men and women of God? Are you creating time? That is the word of advice. The word of guidance. You need it. Many errors we are making today in our marriage. Even in the house of God. Chaos. We don't want to take advice anymore. Pride has feed up. Hallelujah somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters. Are you a child of God? Are you taking advice from the word of God? From the circle of the things of God? I'm talking of the real. I'm not talking of church goer. I'm not talking of the fake people that they want to be a pastor or they want to be an evangelist. Hallelujah, somebody. You need to be praising God. Even in your working place, wherever you see yourself. Open this your mouth. I'm also, also telling myself, if I thought sometimes I want to go to Facebook, do all that things, your mouth, let it be opening. Hallelujah, somebody. Beloved brothers and sisters, this is the word of God. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1 says, Pay my son, pay attention to my wisdom. Turn your ear to my words of insight that you may, may, you may maintain discretion and your lips may preserve knowledge. You can continue from there. Because of time pattern, I want to shorten all these things. But I want to let you know as a child of God, who is guiding you? We are deliberating on the subject called guidance. Who is guiding you? Some people today, they are married. There is no peace because the Spirit of God, they don't allow the Spirit of God to take control of their marriage. You need to bring yourself down. The Bible says in the book of James, when you bring yourself down, the Holy Spirit will exalt you. But when you want to exalt yourself because you have pride, the Holy Spirit will leave you. It's not only something the Holy Spirit left or King Saul. Many of us today, the Holy Spirit are living us. Sometimes I become carnal. Why do I mean I become carnal? Sometimes it's like I'm not seeing signs again. You see me running to take Bible. Sometimes I'll be carried away looking at so many things in the Facebook. I will just off it. Then I will start to the pray, praise God or look for men of God that are praying. The prayer life, I start to pray. Kabash. Then the power of the Holy Ghost will come again. Because you will be serious with those who are serious. It's not forcing any of us. You see what Proverbs 5 1 says and 4 1 says. The book of Proverbs says, My son, give me your heart. Let your eyes observe my way. That is an advice. When you allow the word of God to take control of you, there is a song that says, When the Spirit of the Lord, please don't mind my voice. It said, When the Spirit of God takes total control of your soul, it said, You will be changed and His glory will be revealed. When you allow the Spirit of God to take total control of your soul, 
hallelujah. Those who know the song, they can sing it better. I'm not here to come and throw this light of word of God to you once again. I don't know the problem you are facing. Whatever is confronting you now. The land you are saying that is desolate. I don't know. But I'm coming here to use the word of God to encourage you. I always say it every time. Tell with that number. Those who know me before, they can testify. Say it. That person has a bad mind to spoil somebody. Let us say the truth. The Bible says you know the truth. And when you say the truth, we set you free. Let God see us moving ahead. Let us be the light of the world. Of the world. The city built on a hill. We will be an, an illumination. Shining through what people will see. They will see the truth of God. Hallelujah, somebody. I want to let you know again. In the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 1. I think verse 5. Let me just read. So that you can see it quickly. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. That was why I went to the book of John chapter. It says, let the wise listen and add to their learning. And let the designing get guidance. Did you hear it? The wise, let them listen. Proverbs 20, uh, I think, uh, 27, 17 or so. It says, iron sharpening iron. Even though you are wise, be calm, listen, add more to that your wiseness. No one know it all. Proverbs 1.5 says, look at it here. Look at it here. I don't read it now. Let me come back to it again. He said, let the wise listen and add to their learning. Did you see it? Let the wise listen and add to their learning. No one know it all. You will add to what you have before. That person is sharpening you, you are sharpening. Sharpening that person. That is what the word of God says in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. Say, iron sharpened iron. No one knows it all, beloved. Hallelujah, somebody. This is the word of God. As you stick to it, you meditate on it. That one, the book of Joshua 1 8 says, That is my logo. He said, Meditate on this word of God every day. He said, carefully to underline that word carefully. That is the adjective. Meditate on this word day and night. And carefully, underline that word, carefully apply it. Did you see the adjective? Hallelujah, somebody. I want you to take something home. I want you to be transformed as a child of God. I want the demonic, you know, a kingdom to recognize you as a child of God. Let challenges come and use the word of God to fire them. Hallelujah, somebody. You are a child of God. The demons, they don't have power over you because they don't have a foundation. That is why you need to take counsel from this word of God. Apply them day and night so that you'll be on top of your problem. You will see wars and rumors of war. He says, see that you have been on trouble. All these things will come to pass if at all the end is not yet. It's in the word of God in Matthew 24 verse 6. This is the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Who is counseling you? Who is your guardians? Who is advising you as a child of God? That is the key question. Hallelujah to this one word of exhortation. As you finish listening to this one word, I want you to share it to people. Those who want to use their power to settle disputes, they don't want to carry it to God in prayer and supplication. The Bible let us know in the book of Philippians, we should not trouble for anything, but with prayer and supplication, let us make everything known to God. Oh yeah, that is heavy laden. He said, bring them to my food, go and have a rest. You need the word of God that will take, we help you to know all these things. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise Master Jesus. Let's quickly see the book of Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22, as I'm rounding up. I don't want to take your time. I want you to know there is power in that name. His, his word is here and amen. He will direct you to that truth, provided you have patience with him. The nephew of the spirit, one, one study it. Patience, love, suffering is there. Love, all these things are there. Proverbs chapter 15, 22 says, Excuse me, I've not got into. It says, plans fail for lack of counsel. Plans fail. I'm talking of the counsel of heavens, not of the earthly. Plans fail for lack of counsel. But with many advices, they succeed. Advice from the word of God. Plans fail for lack of counsel. 
I told you, guidance also meet counsel, also meet advice. These three, they are in one. Advice, counsel, guidance. Hallelujah, somebody. He said, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advices. Advisors, they succeed. Praise Master Jesus. Moving on. Let us quickly see also in the book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. I'm rounding up. I won't take up to five minutes or less at them. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Let us see. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. He said, listen to advice and accept discipline. Listen to advice and accept discipline. And at the end, you will be counted among the wise. Listen to advice and accept discipline. Just what I'm telling you now. Why can't you listen to this advice? And at the end, you will be cancelled among the wise. Hallelujah. Counted. I beg your pardon. Let me see Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. I think I will use all this area to round up. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. Hallelujah somebody. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 19. And it says, Truly the righteous attain life, but whoever pursues evil finds death. Amen. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. I will read here once again. That is another scripture I just read. For lack of guidance, a nation failed. But victory is won through many advisors. Did you hear it? I don't know where you are watching me from. Are you a man of God? Are you a woman of God? Are you a politician? Are you a married man, a married woman? Are you a child that goes to school? I don't know the area you see yourself. But this one word of God says, for lack of guidance, a nation falls. It's not exempting anybody. When you don't guide yourself, your journey of life, whatever you are doing in your daily activities, if you don't put God first in number one in your scale of preference, allow the wisdom of God to direct your step through his guidance and an understanding. Beloved brothers and sisters, the Bible says we will fail. So I'm here to use this to round up this proverb, chapter 11, verse 14, that says, for lack of guidance, a nation fail, but victory is won through many advisors. Beloved brothers and sisters, I will round up here. I want you to please Rewind this video clip, share it, like, subscribe. Before I will come again with another episode that the Holy Spirit has laid, we lay also in my heart to come and tell you. I want you to use this one word of God to nourish yourself, to study it, to listen to it, to do like why, so that you will not be saved and I know. God is always here, amen for that. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. It's just because we don't have time for the things of God. We want to do it on our own. But I decree and declare, as so you hear this one word of God, may God's word be your guidance. May God's word be your counsel. May God's word be your advice in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of God are imparting to you as you are listening to me right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will continue to be the and never the winner. I declare and declare that sickness will never know you. Peace that God says he lives with us. That peace I also release in you. Because God has given me the go ahead to proclaim his word to his people. I decree that peace in your life. I pray that God will open your understanding. will break that yoke out of your life. He will release you from that chain that is you are bound with. I break every chain. Every bottle is, is broken right now. Every chain and as every rope, I beg your pardon, is caught in the name of Jesus. You are lifted high. Hallelujah. I declare and declare that you continue to be a house that built on the hill. And in illumination you will be. Your life will be transformed from glory to glory. Every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Just go in peace as you share this video clip. May the peace of God be with you. May heaven recognize you. May the presence of God be with you. As you share this video, the presence of God will come to be with you. A thousand will fall at your right hand at ten thousand years. I decree and declare none of them will come near you because you are connected to God. No demon will see any opportunity. Every of their loophole will seal it with fire of the Holy Ghost. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' almighty name, I prayed amen and amen. Hallelujah. In the word of God, there is power in thy name of Jesus. 
Every knee shall bow. Amen.